Hi people, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to learn how to make a cardioid. A cardioid is a shape that has two curves like a moon. So what we shall do, we shall take our thread, cross the center as usual to the other thread, divide the, the circle in half, ignore the threads, the threads were supposed to mark something. So we take our thread across the center to the other part of the circle, to the other edge of the circle, crossing the line so as to divide the circle into two. Then on our left, we skip one nail. And on our right, we don't skip any nail. So we skip one nail, then this side, we do not skip any nail. So as you go on, you will see a curve forming by itself. As long as you keep the count, it will form by itself. And that's how we create half of the cardioid. Remember to keep counting as you're threading. Most times when you lose count, the shape changes. So you lose count and you get confused. Sometimes the threads are very many and you can't see. So you push them down so that you have enough space on the nail to work with. It helps also to see what you're working with most times. When, for example, when you have a big design, when you have a design with a lot of threads, when you keep pushing the threads down, you can see what you're doing. It helps you, it helps you with visibility. Yeah. So still on the left, you're skipping one nail. On the right, you're not skipping any nail. See how our curve is coming out? effortlessly it's coming out and as we do that the space is also decreasing it decreases by itself it keeps reducing 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 till we run out of nails we shall run out of nails at the top towards the starting point so let's keep that going let's keep that going Remember to keep counting. Don't skip any this side. You skip one here. Don't skip any. Skip one. Don't skip any. Like that. Till the top. The thread is a bit disturbing. The thread really, really keeps disturbing. It keeps rolling. So you have to control that also. You have to control the thread, put it in a position, if possible, elevate it. Elevate, sorry, elevate yourself. Put yourself in a position where you can put the thread below where it just rolls off the roll by itself. You don't need to hold it though I'm doing. I'm holding it because I need it to be in control. That's why. So yeah, our curve, our good nice curve is here. This first part is a bit disturbing. It's a bit disturbing but yeah i'm able to hold it very well so on this on this part we start from the next nail you see where i've started from the next nail is where you start from for you to get a good curve you don't start with the nail that you used on the other curve but the starting point is still the same our starting point here up where we started from the last time but when you bring the thread down towards you, you go to the next nail on your left. So we do the same until we get the same curve on this other side on the left. We're going to get something similar to that and that will be our cardioid. Yeah. Remember to keep the thread in control. Skip one on your right this time and don't skip any on your left. Skip one and then skip any. Skip one, don't skip any. Till you have it all worked out. See, it's starting to form. Around the center, the curve is already starting to form. And just like that, when you reach the top, you'll have your cardioid. Happy threading!